Here's a close up view of the patella doing patella mobilizations and giving you a closer view of some of these bony landmarks that I was referring to in a previous video. So you can see here would be the inferior pole of the patella and it's a triangular shape and she's got these two corners and a tendon above and below. She also has what's called a retinaculum that kind of spreads out on the side of the knee that in a lot of times a knee injury or a, a winking patella or a frog-eyed patella, these retinaculum need to be stretched. So in a mobilization, we're getting on that lateral or medial border of the patella and we're maxing out that range of motion. You can see how this border over here is bulging out. We're actually moving that patella. And you could do perturbations, you know, maybe 30 or 40 perturbations each direction. Now I'm going to use my index fingers and throw it the other way. I'm going to take that inferior pole and actually pop up the patella. You can see how the corners are a little bit higher now. And we're going to take these top poles and throw up the inferior pole. Now it's way down here. You can move in diagonals. To get this superior tendon coming off the patella, you would have the knee bent using the heel of your hand, driving that patella straight inferior in that femoral groove. Your last option would be if you have a large silicone cup or a sink plunger, you can actually buy a patella plunger, but for sake of cost, I would buy something like that, that large silicone cup or a sink plunger. You put cream or oil all over the knee so you get a better suction, but it suctions that kneecap right on top and you could actually disimpact the patella straight superior, but you could add the same ranges of motion we just did while the cup or the plunger is available.